What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be unboxing and setting up and putting together and turning on and turning off and doing a demo and hooking up to a fog machine. He doesn't even have a fog machine. But let's just unbox Nibbles the Clown from Spirit Halloween, new for 2024 this year. I wanted this guy so bad and guess what? I finally got him at my local spirit today. So anyway, Let's get right into the unboxing and stop wasting time. Okay guys, so I have not opened this box yet. Now I'm going to do that right now. So when you open up his box, this is what you should see inside. Now, as you can see, it comes with how the motion tracker works. Pause and read it. Now inside of here, we got his head. But I'm not going to look inside of that just yet. I'm going to take out all the other pieces first. Then I'm going to see what his head looks like. And then right here, we got a foam piece for his leg. One of the arms. Then right here, another foam piece. Then his control box with the mechanism, which is the most important piece. Then right here, another arm. Then the hand with the lollipop and the classic SBI shoes. As you can see, here they are. Then his other hand, his hip loop piece, his spine piece, his clothing. And empty cardboard, goodbye. His base. And then down there, another piece of empty cardboard, goodbye. And then his leg pulls. So as you can see, that's all the parts in the box. The box is literally empty now. Now, as you guys have probably heard, Nibbles has been getting a lot of face deformities. And I'm hoping that the head on my nibbles is not so deformed. So we're going to open it up and yeah, we're going to make sure that it's a perfect looking head. So let's cut carefully now. SVI, please bless me with the best looking nibbles head that the earth has ever seen. All right, let's go ahead and take a good look at his head. Ready? Oh boy, here we go. Moment of truth. One, two, three. Okay, it's not bad like the other ones, but um, yeah, it's not perfect either. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. oh, what the heck? That's interesting. The mechanism is already attached to the head. But yeah, definitely not what I expected, but I'm hoping we can get that fixed or if we can't get it fixed, I might end up getting a replacement head. But I don't know, either way, it's fine just the way it is, kind of. Here's his hat and his adapter. All right, now that's all the parts. Okay, so here are all his parts laid out. This is everything out of the box. And as you can see, I somewhat fixed the head. <laughs> I mean, um, it's not perfect, but you know, it's somewhat accurate to the prototype. All right, so let's begin the setup. So first we're gonna take out his That's not my fault, it's the packaging. We're gonna first start with putting on his beep holes. Get that one on. There we go. And the next one. And then we're gonna get his clown shoes on. Oops. 
Next, we are gonna attach the C poles. All right, get that one on. Now we're gonna attach the foam pieces. Come on, get on there. Don't don't give me a complicated time already. Now we're gonna put on his pants. All right, we finally got his pants on after a hundred years. And now it's time for his hip piece. It is now time to put his shirt on. His incredibly high quality shirt. I don't know why it says to do this before putting the upper body on, but yeah, gotta follow the instructions, you know? All right, now it is time to put on the upper body. There we go. Now, time to put the shirt over. All right, now at this point, we're gonna attach his arms into there it definitely does matter which side goes on which so I'm gonna you know follow it by the rules one thing I never understood about SBI is why they always retail their high quality animatronics understandable reason for such high prices seriously man I mean it's crazy spirit Halloween Express, wherever you buy them. Expensive. But I've got a good theory why. It's because they're gold diggers. Okay, so we got that arm on. Now it's time to put the other one on. Here be another scallywag to join me crew. Now it is time to put his spine piece on to give it the illusion that he is actually hunching over, which he's supposed to be doing, basically. And at this point, we are gonna wanna also connect the adapter. And this guy is already looking pretty cool. So now it is time to attach his incredible looking hands. All right, we got that one on. Oh, it's bouncing. And now it is time to attach his beautiful looking non-deformed head. Now we gotta connect the wires inside. If I'm being honest, this guy is pretty time consuming. Now we are gonna put on his collar. And now it is time to attach his hat. And look at that at this point he is now done being built look at this guy this is a true masterpiece right here so now we're gonna go ahead and get right into the demo all right so he is now fully set up let's go ahead and get right into the demo All right, guys, so as you just saw, unfortunately, mine came broken. The mouth does not move on mine for some reason. Um, and if you look too, see, I have both the wires connected. See, I have this one connected. 
I have this one connected. But, um, yeah, I just don't understand what happened, though. Like, the mouth doesn't move. Yeah, but I don't, I really don't understand what happened. I'm gonna have to, um, gonna have to email, uh, Zombie Tech Squad, ask them for a replacement head. Hello, guys, this is Lee, the Halloween dude from the future, and, um, I just realized that the mouth isn't moving because there was a wire that I forgot to connect. It was just really hard to find. And I didn't even see it when I was putting it together either. If you guys saw it, let me know. And um, yeah, again, it was just so hard to find. Like I didn't even see it when I was putting them together. So uh, yeah, it turns out he wasn't broken. Okay, so now I'm gonna give you guys a proper demo of this guy. So yeah, let's get him fully working. Let's plug him in. There we escape go. my gaze so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game <laughs> if you win you'll get a prize if you lose well don't say i didn't warn you <laughs> i've been watching you for a while now i hope you don't mind i like the way you I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step. It's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> well, well, well. You've caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> I'm harmless, mostly. <laughs> so this guy is really awesome to be honest with you guys um love his motion tracking love his details the color of his whole clothing you know lollipop everything it's it's just so detailed his makeup too and yeah everything about this guy is cool the only problem is um he doesn't really like track you if you're like running or you know that's just a bit of a problem because let's say like there's someone running in front of him and he can't like track them i mean like if they would be paying attention to him either way and um his face did come a little bit deformed but i did fix it up a little bit but anyway that's the demo of nibbles the clown and the unboxing hopefully you guys enjoyed that so thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.